In this video, I'm going to share with you how to make a simple paper boat. It's quick and it's easy to make it completely your own with your own individual style and decoration. It's come out of my own practice and it's fun. I live in Llanfarvechen, North Wales. The sea in the front, the mountains behind and landscape is a core element in my work as well as my materials, porcelain and latex. They're both great at picking up detail from marks left in the landscape by man, by water, by natural forms. And they're translucent, which means when they're lit from above or below, all those things embedded in them really come alive. I've learnt to make time for myself, to grab a moment during the day, just for me. It's when I touch base with my materials, maybe do a sketch, and it might only be 10 or 15 minutes. For me, it's early in the morning, just before the day has really started. It lifts my mood and it's calming, and I get really great ideas from it. It's about holding the clay, making something simple like a bowl, or at the moment, lots of tiny boats. In 2019, I was awarded an Arts Council of Wales grant which enabled me to go to a different shoreline, this time the Pothmadog area. And I was particularly interested in the River Duyrid and how it linked the slate quarries with the sea. And a lot of the jetties are still there. One day during the field work, I decided to make some paper boats and I used what was to hand, just the materials around me. I patterned the paper by rubbing graphite over the rocks I pinned them together using reeds and grasses that I found around me and then I dropped them into the water and they floated off towards the sea. It was very exciting, really uplifting and joyous and it's that excitement and enjoyment that I want to share with you now. I'm now going to show you how to make a simple paper boat. These are great because they're very straightforward to make, they don't take a lot of time, and they use materials you've got around you, either at work or at home, and especially recycled materials. So you need three things to start with. One is a sheet of paper, the other is a pair of scissors, if you haven't got scissors, don't worry, because a blunt knife will do just as well. And then something to stick the ends together. So perhaps a glue stick, that's great if you've got that. And again, if you haven't, it's not a problem. You might find some sellotape. Or simple things like a peg. One of those tiny bulldog clips. Even paper clips. All those things work just as well. The first thing you want to do is to cut down your A4 because it's just a little bit too big for making a boat. So you want to fold it in half and then score along the middle and then cut it. You can use your hands to cut it or you can use the knife to score. So once you've done that you've got an A5 size paper and that's perfect. That really makes quite a nice big boat. But I rather like little ones so I'm going to fold it again so that I've got a postcard size paper. And I'm going to use this white paper just to show you so that you can see the instructions really clearly. But using the paper that I started with is also really good because you're reusing paper that's already been written on and that actually adds to your pattern. So as I say, anything you use really works. The first thing I need to do 
is to find the centre of this piece of paper. And I'm going to do it by folding the two long edges together and just pinching the centre. I'm then going to take one of the long ends and take it up to the centre and score it. And that gives me one of the sides of the boat. I'm going to do the same on the other side, the other long end to the centre. Score it as hard as you can because you want nice clear sides. I now need to make the front and the back of it. And we're going to do this by cutting some slits to make tabs. And I'm going to cut the slits where the folds are. I'll use my scissors for this, or you can use a knife or scissors. About an inch. It's not an exact science as long as all the slits are the same size as each other. So that's my new boat now with the tabs and it's about to take shape. If you've got your glue stick this is where you put your dabs of glue, one in each corner and I'm going to fold those tabs behind the upright piece of paper. And there I have the back of my boat. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And there's my boat. It's a bit like a barge or a really sturdy rowing boat or a canoe. I think it's going to take us safely on our journeys. But if you want it to look more like a sailing boat, there's a trick we can do at this stage which is just to pinch the front to make it more of a bow shape. And now we've got a chance to decorate our boats. And the best time to do this, if you're going to do an all over pattern, is before you glue the tabs together. So while your paper's open, you can do an all over pattern. I've done one here of fish. You might want to do a pattern on the side of the boat and you can do a pattern with say highlighter pens that's what i've done here all over the paper front and back before i glued it another thing you can do for your pattern is add collage so you might cut up old cards or find things in magazines that have pictures of sunsets or something that catches your eye I think the most effective is something that really covers all the paper and there's a way of doing this by using paper that's already got pattern or design on it. So have a look around the house, see what comes through the door. Sometimes magazines and leaflets come through and there's all sorts of things in there that you can cut up or use. This one's got a lovely orange cover that's going to make a really nice little boat. And this was one of those free leaflets that's come through that you tend to put straight in the bin selling some kind of food item and you know what I thought well actually it makes a lovely bright red boat so I can use that. My all-time favourite is to use old envelopes. These are the dreaded ones that if you're not careful you never open because you know there's something you don't particularly want inside. They're always white on the outside they always have patterned paper on the inside and they always have a clear envelope frame. You can do so much with these. Once you open them, you can cut it down to the size you want. So you've got a lovely postcard size already patterned. If you're clever, you might be able to cut it in just such a way as you use the glass frame. And now you've got a glass bottomed boat. So we've made our boat, we've patterned it, and now I'm going to suggest even more ways that you can personalise it. One is what I call 
furniture. Here's a little boat made with the envelope. I took another envelope of a slightly different colour, cut out a rectangle, folded it and I've made myself a little seat to sit inside the boat. In this one I just got some toothpicks and made some oars. This one has a little rudder and again I've used some more paper that I found. But the thing I find most exciting that you can really add even more personalization to is if you look around and see what you've got to stick into to make sails and masts. I'm thinking of corks, I'm thinking of erasers, I'm thinking of toothpicks and barbecue sticks. Don't forget these have both got pointed ends so you need to take a little bit of care with them but they're really useful. Here's a little one here. Here's my seat. Here's my toothpick with a little cupcake cover making a really tiny sail but quite pretty. I've got a cork here so I can afford a bigger sail, sturdier, again from a cookie case that I've put pattern on. But I'm beginning to get even more into my boats. As I'm making them, I'm starting to think of words and journeys and things to do with the sea. So if I make a plain sail, I've got a chance to do some writing on as well. And here I found a cork. So I can pop my sail in the cork and into the boat. Sails can be very straightforward. The simplest are just a rectangle to write on and that's just a post-it note. And it's a message to myself about how I'm looking forward to finding new things, new journeys. This one I've stuck on a pencil and I'm going to stick in an eraser and again, just pop it into my boat. And finally, it doesn't have to be a sail, it could be a banner. So it's very quick from the first simple boat that you're just experimenting with to adding your designs and your patterns or using patterned paper, adding a bit of furniture, adding sails if you can. And don't be afraid of adding writing and words because they're ways that you can really connect with your boat. There might be messages to yourself. They might be things to help you smile and go forward. The main thing is to explore and experiment you can't do anything wrong and you can always make another. It's so quick. So let your mood lift, relax into it and enjoy. And the great thing is they all float. It would be lovely as well if you took photographs or little video clips and had them by you to share.